Hi, my name is Matt. Thanks for being with me today. I just got back from the leather store and I picked this up uh, because some people told me there were parts of the video that I uploaded yesterday that simply were not clear enough. Uh, for example, how did you cut out the, the core so that the sword fits so tightly? I want to show you that and show you the techniques that I used. It was probably too tight, in fact. But I want to start basically from the beginning, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time to create a new sword scabbard. And then today what I wanted to show you was all the different choices that you have in the color. And I picked up a few new colors. I'm going to show you as best as I can. I'm not sure how well they're going to appear on camera. But I want to show you what these colors look like. Maybe that'll help you decide. Because I know if you decide to pick up this project, it's so overwhelming to go into a leather store and to see rows and rows of colors. So maybe it'd be good to have at least a couple of colors in mind. And you know, this is what I want it to look like. So I'm going to show you those colors and hopefully the camera will pick up the light uh, well enough to see what these colors look like. So I'm going to do a quick comparison of that. So mahogany, let's see if we can do this as streak free as possible. No guarantees of that at all. All right, dark brown. Let's get that one. Dark brown. Dark brown, okay. Maybe I'll do a, a second coat. I'm not sure. We'll do a second coat here on half of it. All right, we'll do a second coat here. Half of that dark brown. Got that again. Very similar, very similar. Uh, let's do British tan. Let's do the British tan. All right, now this is what we use for the belt, British tan. I'm making a mess here, love it. That's red. Now this British tan is the only one that's not a pro color. I don't know what that means exactly. It does look a little bit streaky compared to the other two, um, but maybe that has nothing to do with whether or why it's not listed as a pro color. I don't know. I have to leave that up to the experts. Now yellow is what I used for the other scabbard, and uh, I used it because it had such a rich color, such a nice color. Saddle tan. That looks like a pretty medium brown, if you ask me. All right, so we're gonna put another, a second layer here. See if it turns a lot darker. Not really, maybe a little. And uh, a second coat of the yellow here. See if it gets a lot darker. Now the English Bridal, it's uh, nice, like that. Although, I'd say the English Bridal is not too far from the Saffa Tan. We'll see if it looks a little different after a second coat. Now chocolate, that is a much darker color. Others we've seen here. And I'm going to put a second coat here. So after I uploaded that video yesterday, I heard from a lot of people through Facebook that they were going to be using my instructions to create their own scabbard, and that's awesome. Love to hear that. So when you finish your project, if you decide to start one, uh, you know, leave a comment and tell me where I can see the video or the photos. I would love to check out your work as well. And um, you know, check back here as well because I should be done in just a few days with another scabbard and I'll try to change it up a little bit and add those techniques that might have been missing last time. Uh, otherwise, I will see you later. Take care.